Hi guys, you're watching 28th release of Avatar Technology Digest. Each week we are happy to inform you on the most recent and important news in the fields of artificial bodies, cyber medicine, robotics, bio and nanotechnologies. Let's take a look at that. Last week, a team of psychologists and engineers from Binghamton University at New York has created a working biometric identification system that could identify an individual person based on pattern recognition of their brain waves. The pattern is recorded while brains of individuals responding to a series of images, and this technique is 100% accurate. The brain biometric technique, which its inventors call Cerebri, works in the following way. The subject, to be identified, is presented with 500 pictures grouped in several categories while he wears an electroencephalograph. Each picture flashes for one second and causes a recognizable change in voltage and evoked response potential, ERP for short. These responses are then fed to software called Classifier, which works the best using simple cross-correlation technique. first brain-controlled drone race has happened last week, while we already are used to various copters to freely fly all over the sky above us these days. 16 pilots at the indoor basketball court at the University of Florida have competed each other in something really novel. They have used nothing more than their willpower and, of course, brain-computer interfaces to control drones under their command. The world first event was recorded and organizers planned to make it an annual intercollegiate spectacle with a high symbolic trophy that puts a brain on a pedestal. Today, this is a hard task for an unprepared and untrained racer to fix their thoughts and concentrate for long to make drones to be stable in flight and thus to make the flight look smooth. But in future, everyone expects the competition to involve ever more dynamic moves. 21st of April 2016, Elizabeth Barish, Chief Executive Officer of BioViva, has announced that she became the first human who was successfully rejuvenated by gene therapy. She claims to have reversed the telomere shortening, the process which leads to breakdown of cell replication. The measurement using white blood cells has shown the telomere scores, which have led to the conclusion that she was successful in slowing down this cellular process. Elizabeth has publicly announced that she has done nothing less than has found a potential cure to the disease which she feared was killing her, time itself. Results of a completely groundbreaking study that has been done on Chinese recoverable satellite SJ-10 were recently published. The study was focused on the development of mammalian embryos in space. Photos show that mouse embryos have completed the entire developing process. Previously, it was unknown whether humans would ever be able to colonize the outer space as the most critical stage in human reproduction, the early embryo development, was a highly controversial topic. The satellite has carried 6,000 mouse embryos in a self-sufficient enclosed chamber the size of household microwave oven with internal automation many times tested on Earth. Internal high-definition camera was taking pictures every four hours and then was sending them to Earth. Pictures have shown that some of embryos have developed into advanced blastocysts in four days. Space-born mouse population of embryos will soon be transported to Beijing to be subjected to tests with analyses on the developmental speed and changes in embryonic gene and protein expression. American biotechnological company BioQuark is planning to prove that brain death is reversible and to develop revitalization technologies of this important human organ. The main goal of Reanima project is to study the combined potential of recent advances in biotechnology to revive and reanimate human brain. Scientists will start clinical tests involving humans who were legally confirmed as dead in the United States and Britain, but were kept in medical institutions with help of various medical instruments instead of vegetative life, unofficially called living dead. 
With peptides, stem cells, lasers, and neuron stimulation, researchers will try to revitalize brain tissue. A self-propelled aquatic mechanical snake designed for subsea inspection and repair work named Ilium was introduced last week at Norwegian University of Science and Technology and Kongsberg Maritime, funded by Stet Oil, a Norwegian oil and gas multinational corporation. The design uses movable chains for aquatic propulsion that terrifies those who see it with proximity to bionic form from which it has borrowed its resemblance. As psychologists are silent, the engineers have already proven that this design is highly effective underwater. We will end News Digest of Avatar Technologies on this high note. Feel free to comment and share in social networks and discuss with your friends. See you next week.